This is not a drill. Fenty has a new perfume out, y'all, and we are going to talk about it. Hey, y'all. Welcome to my video. My name is Cami. I do natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle videos. If you are new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Let's go to the video. So Fenty dropped their new perfume on August the 10th. It is the first perfume ever in their line, and I'm pretty sure they have like way more perfumes to come. So I was able to get on the list to get early access, and I was able to get it a day early so I am giving you like that fresh and that new okay that fresh and that new new when it comes to this perfume because I really wanted to try it because I'm looking for some scents some new fragrances so let's talk about the packaging and let's talk about the price point and then we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty of exactly what this perfume smells like should you buy it do you need it do you want it and is it going to last so this is the perfume packaging as you can see it is a very nice blue box this color actually looks looks really nice and it honestly looks very luxe. This reminds me of the color scheme that you would see from a lot of other high-end perfumes. Frenzy is quickly becoming a luxury line, if it's not already considered a luxury line already, based on like the price point for a lot of different items that they have. But this box is a beautiful box, it's gorgeous, I love the color. You can see that they have in the gold writing here, it says Fenty, along with the Fenty logo here in this fancy design. So it's a very beautiful box, it looks very luxe, it looks expensive. So they're already off to the right foot when it comes to the packaging for this perfume. So the perfume has the slide here and this is how you would get the perfume out. So this is the color of the perfume bottle here. It is a really nice perfume bottle. So the color for the perfume bottle is actually brown, but often in the light it can look also like an amber type of color. You can easily remove and replace in this packaging like so. So you just push it out and it comes out like there. And then you can push it back in just as easily, which is great because what's gonna happen is if you wanna display it, let's say on your dresser and you don't wanna just have it sitting out and about, you can actually keep it in this box, like in this packaging like this and display it and be able to get easy access. So kudos for the functionality of the box here when it comes to this Fenty perfume. And again, it is that warm brown slash amber color. Rihanna actually did kind of like an interview when she talked about brown being her favorite color, brown being who she is as a woman and just brown representing so many positive things to her which is why she decided to go with brown for the first Fenty perfume bottle so it does say Fenty Beauty around the actual top of the bottle which I feel is a very nice touch and I just wanted to show you the top so that way you can see that the Fenty Beauty symbol is inscribed on the very top of the bottle so all in all the packaging and the perfume itself they are very pretty they are very nice to look at which you wouldn't expect anything less from Fenty Beauty I mean it's Rihanna like come on you would expect it to look very high class and very luxury. So let us talk about the price point for this perfume. So this perfume retails for $120 and for that $120 you get 2.5 fluid ounces. So if you compare that to other high-end fragrances it's kind of like in a similar ballpark. I mean for three ounces of certain perfumes you're going to pay upwards of $155 to $185 to $200 to be able to get three ounces. So they're giving you 2.5 for $120 so it is in line with what what you would pay for other high-end type of perfumes. So let me read off to you what this is supposed to smell like so that way you can understand the notes and the fragrance and see if this is something that you feel you would want to get. So on the website it says introducing Fenty perfume the new fragrance from Rihanna magnolia and musk unite with tangerine blueberry and hints of Bulgarian rose absolute geranium and patchouli to create a unique blend that expresses itself uniquely on each wearer for a one-of-a-kind scent that is all hearts and pure soul. So already the website is setting you up to know that it's going to smell different on everyone else. So if you smell this on your friend and it smells bomb and it smells amazing, then it potentially, it has a, it has a potential to do that for you, but it may not be guaranteed because it's going to quote unquote smell differently on everybody. So they're kind of giving you that warning, which I mean, I guess I can appreciate that because if you do smell it out and you're wearing the same perfume as somebody else and it smells terrible on you and great on them, you'll probably know because they're, they're, they're letting you know right here that it is going to smell different. So this is the inspiration quoted from Rihanna. This isn't about a fantasy. I wanted to experience truth. Fenty perfume is for remembering what's real. I made a fragrance for myself and I'm now sharing it with you. So they're saying that she personally had a hand in doing this. So if you are interested in smelling like Rihanna because she had a hand in this, there you go. So that is basically the rundown of what the website says. A 
about this perfume. Now I'm gonna get down to the nitty gritty. How does this perfume smell? So upon my first smell of this perfume, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm gonna be like 110% honest. When I first received this and when I first opened it up and when I first smelled this perfume, I was honestly disappointed. I was disappointed in the way that this smells because in my mind I had like a totally different expectation of what this new Fenty perfume was going to smell like. I thought that it was going to be something that smelled sweet, warm, with like a hint of floral, but when you smell this perfume it doesn't really smell like any of that. Like, like it kind of smells like cut grass a little bit. Honestly, like a little bit, it does. It smells like when you first cut the grass, like freshly mowed grass first thing in the morning, like before 10 a.m. This is what this smells like in the bottle. Don't come for me yet, don't come for me because I'm letting you know my honest thoughts, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. If I walked through the store and this was laying out and I, and I smelled it in the bottle, I would skip it. I would honestly skip it, I would not buy it because upon your first impression of smelling it, you don't really smell any sweet notes, you don't smell any florals, it's just a strong kind of grassy smell. Now, we all know, Okay. We all know that smelling a perfume in the bottle is completely different than when you spray the perfume and you smell it on yourself. But I'm giving you like my first impressions of it. So smelling this, sis, it smells like spice and grass. It, it doesn't smell good. And I was really disappointed when I like opened up the package and took like the first whiff of it because I had just a totally different expectation of what this was going to smell like. I thought it was going to be like a sweet warm floral with hints of vanilla or something like that to lead us into to the fall because it is releasing you know on the back end of summer but it wasn't like that so I am going to spray some of it right here and let you know because this is first impressions I haven't sprayed it on myself or anything before that I'm going to spray it on myself and let you know if the scent changes at all after you know spraying it And it does have a very nice spray. Like you can see, it does like a very nice mist. So now, after spraying this on myself, the smell when you smell it in the bottle versus when you do put it on yourself is totally different. So yes, it still has a hint of fresh cut grass in there, but now I can smell like the undertones of the different fragrances in here. But still to be 110% honest with you, even if I sprayed this at the store, I still probably wouldn't buy it. Now does this scent smell luxury? Does it smell luxe? Does it give you like high end? Does it give you, yes, I would pay $200 to just get my hands on this? No, I'm going to be honest. It smells okay to me but it doesn't smell like a high-end perfume, if that makes sense. So with that being said, I feel like now after smelling it and spraying it on myself and wearing it on myself, that the price point of 120 for this should probably be bumped down to like 80, maybe, maybe 80. $85 because the scent just does not smell luxe to me. It does not smell luxurious at all to me. I do smell a lot of spice in there and now the hints of the warm scent in there are coming through. So as far as this being a scent that can carry you into fall, yes, you can definitely wear this as a fall fragrance because it does have that spiciness to it and it does have the undertone of that warmth coming through as well. So yes, this is definitely going to transition into the fall as a fall scent. Now, is this going to be my my go-to scent? Definitely not. I'm not really a fan of it. This has to be one of those fragrances that it really has to grow on you, especially if you are kind of like fixed, like you're in a box when it comes to the type of fragrances that you like. Because to be honest, everybody likes what they like. You have a certain scent or a certain type of smell that you like on you and that you like to wear. So let's talk about the strength of the perfume. This has a good amount of strength in it. It does smell youthful. It does smell different and that's the thing that Fenty is going for. Of course they're known for trying to push the envelope so this fragrance is definitely different than anything else I've ever had or anything else that I've ever worn or even anything else that I've ever smelled before. It has its very own very unique scent. So if you are looking for a new perfume in your collection that is completely different than anything that you smelled or anything that you own then yes you can go ahead and get this Fenty. Is it something that I would repurchase? Definitely not. This fragrance is not for 
for me. So this perfume is definitely going to be good for somebody who's looking to step outside of the box of their typical known perfume collection. If you want to wear something that is unique and different, but if you like this video guys, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell so that way you know whenever I post more videos. Thanks for joining me guys. Bye!